What's up YouTube? I am on the road, headed out of town, hitting up some thrift stores, looking for stuff to sell online for a profit. And the best part, guess who's back? Back again. <laughs> guess who's back? Tell you, oh, Kayla's back. We're hitting the road, headed south to warmer weather to find some items to sell online. And right now we're in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Lots of thrift stores here. Not sure about the prices because it's kind of upscale, but we're gonna find out. Some climbing shoes. Some of these can be worth some good money. How much do they want? Ouch. 100 bucks? I don't know what they're worth. Let's see if I can get the same ones for $23. I don't think they're worth 100. So check these out. Nautica shoes. Busted there. The heel is like totally uneven. Crack there hole in the back right here and they still want seven dollars crazy so these weird looking contraptions it's a back to life massager and i always pick them up when i see them they sell really quick but they want seventy dollars and doesn't even have the plug shorts three dollars tops three dollars it's not too bad let's see if we can find something The main thing with these is to make sure they do not have holes in them. And some of them, even with holes, will sell. But look, there you go. No good. So that place was definitely a bust. I mean, they had some crazy prices. The clothes weren't too bad, but we didn't find anything. So off to the next spot. Next up, the church mouse thrift shop in Boot. What is a church mouse? A mouse that likes to go to church. Okay. <laughs> church mouse thrift shop in Boot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's Probably not going to happen. Shoes, three bucks. It's not bad. Not buying anything. So pricing is kind of all over the place here. Seven dollars for this North Face lightweight jacket, and then fifteen for this old Eddie Bauer coat. I don't know. That's cool. It's a little beat up. Might be cheap enough. Hey babe, if I get you that, will you wear it? I think it's cool. I probably had one when I was in third grade. I'll get it for you. What do you think? Do you wear it? Sure. There's so many little rooms in here. Like, you get lost. I mean, look, there's like four rooms converging right here. You got shoes, house goods, and whatever this is. Definitely a neat place. So here we go. So I found this Zenith Royal 2000 transistor radio. There's only one listed. And eleven have sold. Look at the comps. Somebody has won it for 32, but they don't take a chance. Somebody want $12. Two bucks, Bogan. I'm not even gonna look it up. Bogan's a good brand. I'm gonna grab it. So that place was kind of pricey, but we did grab a few things. Got the Notre Dame hat, 
I only paid a dollar for it. Got the Bogan Manfrotto. If you ever see that Manfrotto name, it's probably worth picking up. I haven't looked it up yet. It's only two bucks. I'll throw some comps on the screen. And then this guy, I was surprised it was only $12 and must have not looked it up because there was only one listed for like $85 and the sold comps were anywhere from like $70 to $200. So I think we did pretty good on that one. Even if it didn't work, I think it'll sell for parts. So not a bad stop. You like that place? Interesting, but I didn't buy anything. Oh, okay. It's a Goodwill and it looks like it's a Goodwill boutique. So who knows? Fancy. Might be fancy. So I found a price list and it looks like everything's the same price. Like all the shirts are $4.59, pants $4.59. That's not bad. That is amazing. That is awesome. And it's in good shape too. Oh, you know what? Are these? That's the pants tool. That is awesome. Getting that. So here's a good brand to be on the lookout for, that FJ Foot Joy. You ever see that? It might be worth picking up, but I don't usually pick them up when they have a coarse logo on them like that. It takes a little bit longer to sell. It's another Foot Joy, but once again, got the logo on it. So Howler Brothers, I love their hats. I'm not sure about their shirts. I'm gonna grab it anyway. I'll throw some comps on the screen. That is amazing. Probably not worth much, but cool. So Kayla walked off to get a buggy and look at what she came back with. Patagonia some chill. It's extra large. It might fit me. It might be a keeper. Might fit me. So the hard goods section at this Goodwill boutique is definitely not very big. There's certainly more clothes. But let's see if we can find something. Sony 5 DVD changer. I only want $6.99. Might be worth looking up. 86 listed. 169 sold. 50 bucks plus shipping. 55, 60 free shipping. 95 free shipping. I think I might take a chance. I'll test it and see if it works. So when we left that Goodwill, we did our normal thing, sat in the car and filmed a little recap telling you about all the stuff that we found. Like the CD player did actually work. I was able to test it in the store. I haven't gotten it listed yet because I'm kind of lazy. The ugly golf shirt didn't really have any comps, but I've got it listed. The Howler Brothers shirt actually had comps better than I thought. And it actually has sold for $45. And then the Puma, 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 Dabo shirt, that windsuit, had some really good comps too. Got it listed for $89.95. But all of that was before I did the research on this thing. I actually spent some time. I'll just say, I'll leave it there. Some time looking up cinchilla patterns on Patagonia's website and different websites at the hotel that night and trying to find the, the name of this crazy pattern. Well, finally, I found it. And it's called Protected Peaks. So I put that into eBay. And imagine my surprise when I found this. Now, obviously, that's just what people are asking for them. Let's look at sold and see what's actually sold. Okay, that's pretty good, too. But it's all best offer accepted. So I actually went to Terapeak. That's the little research tab at the top of your page if you have an eBay store. And sure enough, they're actually selling for some really good money. And this one's an extra large too, so that's even better. I'm thinking I can get $200, $225 for this pullover. I mean, the only one that's listed right now that's an extra large, they want $275 for it. 
So Kayla definitely knocked it out of the park on this one. She's definitely my good luck charm. Back to Hilton Head. Next up is the bargain box thrift store. It looks like it's actually tied to a church. But I actually heard a lady talking to her daughters at the last thrift store we were at, and she said that they had to wait in line at this place. I don't see a line, but it is the parking lot's full, it's packed. So hopefully they got some good stuff. I don't yeah, know. It looks like they're not open all week, just Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 12 to 4 too. So I don't know, we'll see. Tag. I don't know what that means, but yeah, it's pretty good. Main USA, Tahoe. It's just cheap, grab it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. The Bose speaker for three bucks. It's only one though. I should probably get it, but I just got a feeling it'll take a while for one speaker to sell. And it's gonna take up a bunch of space. So regrettably I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna get it. Seriously, you can never have to oh, hold on. My mom works here. Okay. Mom, look. I just think it's precious. Oh my gosh. I have to be careful not to break it. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Everybody is stopping. 1939. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Isn't it fun? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's worth $4. So my GoPro died halfway through the bargain box, so I didn't get to film everything, but it's definitely a cool store. I can see why people will get here early and wait in line. Kayla found Patagonia, I found Patagonia. You're seeing all the stuff scroll through, through the screen. Uh, she also found this Wizard of Oz statue. It says it's from 1939. She's trying to do research on it. Can't find it anywhere. Paid $4 for it. I think it's for her though. 1983 actually, we see it on, on the, the back. back but yeah. on the back, but on the 1983 on the back so we'll we'll see might not be worth much but she got it for herself and then i also found this j peterman jacket it's like this real heavy thick almost like a, a horse riding or like a fox hunting jacket not real sure couldn't find anything on ebay i googled it and some of that stuff goes for some crazy money so hopefully it was good it's only five bucks and i'll let you know So quick update on the Wizard of Oz statue. Found out it was from 1983, not 1930, something like we thought. And somebody was trying to sell what? One for $19.99. So one listed, none sold, paid $4 for it. Not a complete loss. I'm sure our daughter will love it and put it in her room. It's another Goodwill boutique. Two in Hilton Head. I hope this one's as good as the first one. special tags on it so it's going to be regular jacket price $5.99 I'll take that there it is that is a, like a poncho it's got little tassels that's interesting I check that out Whip. Adidas Windbreaker. That's pretty old. That might be a buy. So the poncho thing is not worth picking up. They're 30 bucks new. And then the Adidas. I don't see the exact one. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. It's a bigger size. I think I'm gonna grab it. It's too cool to leave here. Oh. 
Got these wrestling shoes, Asics, Kale 5.0. Comps look pretty good. I don't see any blue ones for sale or sold, so maybe they're rare. But they're in really good condition. Shoes are $6.99. I'm gonna grab those. So I'm looking around electronics and I'm kind of comping a few things out. The combo unit's not worth that much. The CD changer's not worth that much. But I found this laser disc player. The comps on it look really good. 139, 107, 159, 150 plus shipping. And we want $14.99 for it. But I have no way to test it past plugging it in. But I think I'm going to take a chance. Here's another one. Turns out the CD changer is worth something. They want $14.99 for it. 75, 130, that's with the remote. 129, and the selfie rate is crazy. So we may be picking that one up too. So I actually tested the two DVD slash CD players. Neither, neither one of them would play anything. So had to leave them there, but still got some pretty good stuff. And as you can see, I'm scrolling that through with the comps and kind of what I paid for everything. I think I spent $29 total, something in there. But either way, I mean, kind of surprising for the Goodwill Boutique. Not too bad. I'm, I'm not going to bash Goodwill Boutique anymore. So after that Goodwill Boutique, we actually went to like three or four more stores. We found a ton of high prices, but also found some good bread and butter items to resell. More importantly, we found a lot of fun. We love doing this, and if we can do it together, that's even better. And we did a lot more. We actually headed south after we left Hilton Head. Stay tuned for that video. We definitely want an adventure. Hit that bell notification so you'll get an alert when it comes out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.